that a that a Hello, I'm Woody. They call me the stupid one, cause I'm kinda slow, so don't let me keep you busy. I was born with a big brain, so I can't move as fast as my two brothers. I can only do useless stuff like calculations and design, and I play a few instruments, and I'm writing a book on the flora and fauna of Alaeus. Hello? Hello, Quaman? It's your wake up call, sir. How long will I be asleep? About a month. I need to share a search of my story. What be the use? Quaman be an outcast. No one like him. Where are you, Quaman? That be a secret. Quaman want to be left alone. Could you please stop snoring? Quaman be snoring? No one ever tell Quaman he be snoring. But then Quaman always be sleeping by his lonesome. No woman like Quaman. Don't say that about yourself, Quaman. I'm sure that, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable to be discussing this in a public like this. Yes. 
Everyone be hearing about Kwama now? You wanna talk about your problems? Face to face? What be the point? I'm a good listener, and I'd like to be your friend. That'd be the point. Kwama not sure if he want friend now. Please let me be your friend. Why? Because I'm lonely too. I don't really know anybody on this island and I need some help. Well, Kwama be wanting to help, but... Okay. Kwama be your friend and talk to you. My secret place be in the ruins of the old temple, by the wells. Follow the stream up from the rock beach, and go right where it branches. Thanks, Colin. I'll be there as soon as I can. It's another one of those statues come phone booths. They must have been popular in their time. That's Quammen, the not so quiet giant. It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. You are big! You're just about the biggest person I've ever met! Kwaman be a freak. No one be liking him. I didn't mean it that way, I just meant... April, you know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one, then. Because no one else want anything to do with Kwaman. How did you come to be on this island? That be a long story. Do you want Kwaman to be telling you? Sure I have time. Tell me the story. Many long moons ago, Kwaman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Khorasan, where he be big attraction. What did you do? Kwaman be the world's strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some even from east of the Bay of Fire. But then there be an accident. And the Circa tell Kwaman to leave. That he be dangerous. And that no one be paying to see him anymore. What kind of accident? Kwaman's most popular feat be the breaking of large rocks with his fist. Everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking. Then one day, the Kalaf be at the Circa to see the performers. He be saying, Kwaman, I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist. This I want to see. But my performance be over that day, and there be no rock to break. So the Circa Ringmaster Obron, he be saying, let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea, because rock can be dangerous when it breaks. But Obron be saying, this you must do. The Caliph wants to see. We do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan, or we lose our heads. 
So Kwame, break the rock. And when it breaks... What, what happened? There'll be large pieces of rock flying everywhere. And one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph be not seriously hurt, but his son be unconscious and bleeding from the head. They say to Kwaman, run, get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. So Kwaman run, and he get passage on ship leaving that night. When the ship passed this island, Kwaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. What happened between you and the Orlawal? Oh, Kwaman be so clumsy, so dangerous. He should not be among people. He be only hurting them. The Orlawal be kind, letting Kwaman live and fish in their village. But then Kwaman be stepping over a young Orlawal almost breaking his shell. The Orlawal tell Kwaman to leave village, to not come back because he may kill an Orlawal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Kwaman be sad because he liked the Orlawal and because Kwaman be having the best fishing place in all of Elias. He loses his friends and his food. What do you eat now? Kwaman fish in these wells here. But the fish that live down there be small and not very tasty. Would you like to move back to the Orlawal village? Oh yes. Kwaman be wishing that more than anything in the world. I saw an Orlawal down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out, and get back in favor with the Orlawal people. Yes, perhaps Kwaman can help, even if the Orlawal do not want him back. Here it is, the, uh, Orlawal? Can you help it? Perhaps Kwaman can help. Poor Orlawal. He'd be crying for help. Ah, uh, Kwaman see what be wrong. The Orlawal not shed its shell when time come, and now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other Orlawal come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be helpless. But Kwaman help. Kwaman be good with his hands. Kwaman be happy. Kwaman accept your graceful thanks, sir. Thank you. You be making Kwaman very happy. Kwaman accept your offer and be grateful to the Orlawal people. Thank you very much. What? What did he say? Why did you thank him? Orlawal be inviting Kwaman to stay on the cliff above the village where he can fish again. Kwaman be very, very happy now. You understand what it's saying? Orlawal language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Kwaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. Kwaman is fishing. Hey Kwaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth? But not today. Why is that? Kwaman be not certain. The fish always bite before. But then Kwaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. What do you need to make a lure? Kwaman can make lore with just anything, as long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. 
You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? Always be something wrong with Kwamun. That was actually a compliment. Oh. Are you happy now, Kwamun? Kwamun be happy. He be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not, Kwamun still be happy. Can I borrow your fishing rod? Kwamun must catch fish first, so he can eat. After Kwamun catch fish, April can borrow fishing rod. Happy fishing! Thank you. Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now Kwaman can make one, and hopefully catch many fish. It's a big, wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Alation village. crossbow in the tree. I did. Well, I thought of it. And these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the, uh, manual side. So they built it, and you supervised? Yep. But it's not done. There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. Did you say blast off for Luna? That's what I said. Luna. As in the moon? The same. You intend to go to the moon using that... thing? Lunar cannon. And yes, that's the plan. You guys are loonies! If by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why! But Kwaman has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. The important thing is, we can work again. Thanks, lady. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem, though. 
And that is? We don't have a bowstring for our, uh, uh... Propulsion drive mechanism, Wick. Uh, what he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Like what? I don't know, lady. I'm no engineer. I'm just a supervisor. String made from animal guts would be perfect. Yeah, but look at us. Do we look like the kind of stick men who'd make good hunters? Do you see me going after a gank beast carrying what? A cone? A dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge? Looks like Quammen just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There were only bones left of his catch. It's Quammen's fishing rod. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. Can you use this as bowstring for your, uh, lunar cannon? Let me see that. Oh yeah, that gonna work good. All right, listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. It worked, you wood-brained fool! I built it! According to Wick, it's a lunar cannon. Apparently, it's powerful enough to send a stick man to the moon. Oh, sure. In a Jules Verne novel, perhaps. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you gonna do it? Do what? Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. It's the Stickman's Lunar Cannon. The rope's got a hook-shaped fishbone tied to it. I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so, and let the rope trail behind it. 
Okay, we're ready to fire.